gym badge number three in the books. Let's go. GG, right? GG. That's Bianca down. And ladies and gents, that is a clean Jaren. I want to not dodge this guy because I'm so smart. We're going to go to the Relic Castle first. We're going to try and uh, get a Sandile there. We might get a Sandile, we might get a Yamask. We'll see. Oh no. Oh wait, I'll be able to dodge it with Dig. Wait. I don't like it. How's it outspeeding me? I should be faster in the... Thank God. Oh. Ah, man. <laughs> Nothing is spookier than abide after... or before a dig. <laughs> Good lord. So at this point, there's no point in repelling. We either get a Yamask, or we get a Sandile. Sandile is great because it guarantees us that encounter, but honestly, also uh, in the Desert Resort, the levels are, if I get a level 20, and I'm actually in the desert, and then I get a guaranteed dwebble. Or sorry, I do not get a guaranteed dwebble because of the sand dial uh, in Darumaka. I, yeah. Sand dial is what we want. Want a sand dial for the guaranteed dwebble? Let's see it. Sand dial. You mask. What are you gonna do, baby? Easy peasy. All right. Tamale. Welcome back to the team. Best name for this thing ever. Let's check out your mask. Okay, tamales. You got mummy, no surprise. And you got plus attack minus speed. It's about as useless as I could imagine. Uh, I don't care about the minus speed as much because he's already so slow, but... Wow. <laughs> what a... what an ability. Or what a... what a nature. <laughs> okay, you're in the desert resort. We can do it out here just fine. We have the same odds as inside. Um, we got 40% sand dial. Uh, we can't encounter Darumaka because of our repel. Uh, or Maractus or Scraggy. So it's either 10% Dwebble or 40% sand dial. Which, what is that? 80%, 20% probably, realistically. So that's what we got. I don't think that changes from inside, which is 40, 20. All the levels are the same. <sighs> yep. It's the moment. This is it. Let's see what we got. Dwebble! Let's go! Mm -mm -mm. Dwebble, welcome to the squad. All right, nickname for Dwebble. Nickname for Dwebble. What are some good snail ones? I feel like we've had some good ones. Uh, Escargo, does that fit? Snails as food. Escargot. Literally means snails as food. Escargo, welcome to the squad. Dirty. It's got a hard stone, though. Cool. Sturdy's fine. Plus special attack minus defense. Oh, man. These natures are cancer today. What is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I wanted a Dwebble. I didn't want this Dwebble. Oh my god, man. What even is this? 
This has got to be one of the worst dwebbles that you could possibly have. <laughs> Mincino! Hi there, Mincino. Got him. All right, Clarence, Mincino nickname. Ooh, I feel like I got one. I feel like I got one. Cappuccino. We're just gonna try and build a squad, but we're also gonna check on Mincino while we're here. Powers up the Pokemon's weaker moves. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's oh, pretty good. Hate it. I hate this cop so much. He's such a he's such a bad man. <laughs> Sure, dude. I will reiterate. I have no idea when we're actually going to get to this, but if we ever get to it, I'm down. And I'm also okay to do Sapphire, is my other thing that I will say. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I gotta... I'm gonna focus on this real quick. Okay, we're gonna... Ooh, I could get a work up in. I'll just air cut her. That did not do nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh-oh, I'm spooked now. Might actually have to sacrifice something here. Ooh, nice crit! If I had worked up, it would have been better. Oh, no, 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 no. KFC! I should have put the Eevee light on you! I should have put the Eevee light on you. Ah, uh, why? Was he useful? Um, maybe for ground? Maybe for the ground, Jim. Not gonna be for electric. Uh, ugh. You know what? These things, herdiers, hate my pigeons. They hate my pigeons. <laughs> That's what it is. It's bigotry. <laughs> That's the problem. Not me, not me, uh, hateful, uh, hateful herdiers. Okay, so the reason I switched to escargo is because it has sturdy, which means it will survive any one hit kill. So we're just going to use faint attack, which will always hit. Or it could just use a move that's not going to kill us. You're a bad man. You're a bad boy. Ooh, that almost leveled us up too. But I think if we just go into the forest, then I can get Cottony, because we get a guaranteed Cottony here. At 22, because we can't encounter Venipede, Tranquil isn't valid, and Swadloon isn't valid. I need to remember, because I screwed this up once, that I can't speed up or shouldn't speed up. I need to walk slowly and keep my eye out for moving. Patches of grass. Not a valid encounter. <laughs> cottony, 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 cottony. Cottony, 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 cottony. Cottony! Hello, friend! <laughs> Welcome to the squad, Candy Floss. Wow, a rare candy. I don't have 800 of those in my bag. Um, I want a chance to be able to get Trubbish, which I basically cannot do as of right now.
Okay. The nice thing here... What did I just do? Okay, fine. Um, the nice thing about here, that's different from the last place, is the, uh, the moving grass Pokemon is, I believe, a... Yeah, they're all Pokemon I can't encounter, because Amolga I can't encounter because it doesn't evolve. Uh, Chinchino because it's an Evo, and Audino because it doesn't evolve. So my encounters are Gathita or Trubbish. Those are the two, because I already have a Minchino. So let's encounter some Pokemon. Come on, Trubbish. Garbage boy! Girl! <laughs> Let's add you, baby. Got him. Well, that was annoying, but we got it. All right, we had an awesome name for this last time. I, I think actually it was you, Adam, that named it last time. We are here for our boy cabbage, or for our girl cabbage. Run saved, yes, no kidding. <laughs> cabbage. Now we're going to go check out the stats and such on our new people. <sighs> I'm checking out him first. Oh, sticky hold. Impish. Plus defense minus special attack. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Protects the Pokemon... Uh, from item theft. Cool, so basically he can't lose his item. So that's neat. Man, Toxic Spikes would be so good in the next gym battle. Also, lower special attack, but its moves are just... only special. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, he gets takedown. He only gets, like, special poison moves. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. This is garbage. This is trash. Well, we got a Toxic Setter, I guess. Well, okay. Okay, sure. At least Acid Spray would be cool. Um, okay. Can I click this? Oh, that's in there. Okay, now here's the... Lonely... Prankster, let's go! Plus attack, minus defense is not what you want to see, but we got ourselves a prankster Pokemon. Oh, shoot. So basically, so for those that don't know, prankster, basically any status move I have, which includes things like cotton spore and poison powder, it means it always goes first, which is super nice for um, this candy floss. It's like a really, 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 really good Excadrill counter for Clay's gym because he can lower speed, lower speed. He also gets charm or yeah, he also gets charm by that point. And so it can also lower their attack and also has access to recovery with like Giga Drain by that point. So like, yay, prankster candy floss. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. I hate this fight. One of the many hated fights at the end of the early game. <laughs> All right, Perry. Let's dance. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Come on, one more. Come on. Got the Thunder Wave down. Survived the crit, but we got the Thunder Wave. Holy cow. <sighs> okay. Well, that Eevee Light was very useful because that would have been dead. Um, I think now we just switch to Tamal. Ooh, do we switch to Gherkin first? I think so. Let's switch to Gherkin first.
because uh super bang come on might be saying adios to gherkin on this one <laughs> do we go for the chance for para do we go for the chance for para do we go for the chance of para No, I don't think so. Because if we get the para still switching into tamales is like almost exclusively better. Come on, let's get a para. We can still sacrifice Gherkin if we need to. Nice, okay, perfect. Whew. Now we hex. Wow, the fact that that didn't do that much damage is kind of spooky. Ooh, light screen wears off, and we get to kill because of light screen. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, close. Always close this battle. Ugh, hate Perry. <laughs> Perry and his Sigalith. Oh, Cappuccino. Shout out to that Eevee Lake call. Ancient Seas. Artertuga. Talk to this lady. Alright. Here's our encounter. The Tirtuga. Let's check out those stats, shall we? Oh, first we gotta give a nickname, and the nickname, as always, is... The last time, T U R T L E uppercase S O U P Turtle Soup. Welcome back to the squad. Let's check out them stats. Okay, naughty. I'm pretty sure it's plus attack. Plus attack minus special defense. Solid rock, which is would rather have sturdy, <laughs> but it's. Okay, that's fine. We will survive. Okay. This is N. So we lead with Sand Isle. Switch into Turtle Soup on Darumaka. Switch into Cabbage on Scraggy, which then will mean Sigilyph probably wants to use Psybeam or some other move, which we switch into Cappuccino. Oh, shoot. That's why I wanted the other guy here, Scrafty. Because he got me into tamales better. So what does Psybeam do? 42, up to 42%. I mean, that's still three hits. Maybe we just gotta go for it. Just like last time. Okay. We have lost to end here before. It could still happen here. Let's take on end. 